Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Amaka Onyanta. I am a research associate working with Professor Stivikin and Dr. Anita Etale on an EPSRC EDNI Fellowship on Functional Nanocellulose Composite. This project just started two months ago. Therefore, the aim of this presentation is to introduce my research background and the initial aspects of the project to the BCI community. For the past six years, I have been working on cellulose fibres and its transformation to nanocrystals using uh, various acid hydrolysis methods or a mechanical fibrillation to produce cellulose nanofibrils. These materials are sustainable materials because of the renewable sources of production and they have the potential to increase the mechanical strength of composite materials to stabilize formulations and also they can be used as biodegradable packaging and they have found very good use as scaffolds for tissue engineering applications because of their biocompatibility uh, profiles. I have particular interest in making composite formulations with cellulose nano uh, fibers. So for this presentation, I would be briefly talking about the two industrially relevant uh, projects that I have carried out while working as a postdoc at Edinburgh Napier University. So I developed a green modification process for the production of uh, translucent hydrogel materials from cellulose fibers. And I use this material as a reinforcement in an all bio-based uh, polymer matrix for potential replacement of silicon patterns that are currently used in cycle seat accessories. I also explore the application of this uh, hydrogels as rheology modifiers in body lotion and pharmaceutical formulations. Uh, throughout my years of working with nanocellulose, I have found it a fascinating material to work with. It has an interesting relationship with water because nanocellulose is highly hydrophilic, but it does not dissolve in water. So although um, it, nanocellulose have been generally accepted as an amphiphilic uh, polymer material, it is still very difficult to formulate with hydrophobic uh, polymers. So the first tax, my first tax in this project will be to amplify the amphiphilicity of nanocellulose using green modification uh, processes. Uh, this would then allow for the aqueous processing of nanocellulose with other hydrophobic uh, polymer materials, thereby making a strong and sustainable composite material. Thank you for watching.